Birkenauer Straße. Of the 155 kilometers long barrier that once surrounded West Berlin, a mere 220 meters of the Berlin Wall are still found here today. The entire complex, with the inner wall, border signal fence, border control road and guard tower, reveals the inhumanity and cruelty that was the Berlin Wall, and that is now preserved, documented and conveyed by this memorial. The significance of this site lies in the fact that so much happened here. It is a historic and complex location where numerous personal fates were experienced. Five human beings lost their lives on this street alone. There's also a high concentration of remnants of the wall here. And these two factors contribute to the singularity of the area. And these two components make the singularity of this area. Today, over two decades after the fall of the wall, it is hardly conceivable that it ever existed or that it divided Berlin, Germany, Europe and basically the whole world. On August 13, 1961, the GDR regime closed the border by building the wall, imprisoning its own citizens so as to prevent them from leaving for the West. Some still managed to flee to freedom, often in a spectacular manner. Nonetheless, at least 136 people lost their lives along the Berlin Wall. How the wall functioned and what the closed border meant to the people are brought to life by the memorial. We've set up signs to mark the places where someone escaped or where someone tried to cross the wall but failed and was arrested. Another significant event at this location on Bernauer Straße was the demolition of the Reconciliation Church. The church, which stood on the death strip up until 1985, was a thorn in the side of the GDR regime. As the pastor of the parish, Mr. Manfred Fischer still remembers. The demolition of the Reconciliation Church, or the moment when the tower fell, was the end of all hope of return. From that moment on, the wall was perfect and the shooting range open. Fortunately, history took a different turn. Four years later, the wall came down. And now, where the Reconciliation Church once stood, stands the Chapel of Reconciliation. In commemoration of the victims of the wall, memorial services are held there daily, as well as once a year on the day the wall was built and the day the wall fell. And thus, naturally, also on the 13th of August 2011, the 50th anniversary of the construction of the wall. The central memorial ceremony, dedicated to the victims of the wall and German division, was held in the presence of victims associations, representatives of the four legislative bodies and around 30,000 visitors. Let us remember the suffering inflicted on countless women, men and children at the wall and within the inhumane border of the East German Communist Party, which physically and mentally tortured those citizens deemed suspicious denying them all basic human rights. The ceremony was followed by an ecumenical service in the Chapel of Reconciliation. The death of peace-loving people at the Berlin Wall was an appalling injustice. They died only because they sought freedom. As witnesses to freedom, however, they also helped bring the wall down. In memory of these victims, wreaths were placed at the memorial. Here the victims and their mourners have a place of tranquility and remembrance. As part of the memorial ceremony, an additional section of the outdoor exhibition on Bernauer Straße was also opened. The new section is dedicated to the stories of the people and events that brought Bernauer Straße to the eye of the world. The residents who fled from their houses by rappelling or jumping from the windows of their flats. The surveillance of the people and their eventual forced eviction for the expansion of the border zone. The excavated basement of a former house, demolished for the construction of the wall, can also be viewed here. 
The sondage is an essential element. It tells of the expulsion of the people of Bernaustraße, of their resettlement. There's a replica of a watchtower as a real object monitoring the entire area. We also acquired a few firewalls and designed them to show what truly happened right here on the spot. And up at the corner of Brunnenstraße, Konrad Schumann, the fleeing border guard, as a big important eye-catcher for this area. The fact that this piece of East-West German history from the Cold War has been conserved can be largely attributed to Pastor Fischer and his parish. Initially, however, not everyone was in agreement about it. When we suggested saving some of the wall, people called us mad. The wall must go, was the rallying cry, and the people were sick of looking at it. That's perfectly understandable. Afterwards, they realized that we were destroying a piece of our own history. Today, no one complains. All are glad that there is at least one small expressive piece to look at in this city. Today, people from all over Germany and the world come to Bernauer Straße to get a tactile impression of this chapter of German history at the visitor center, the documentation center and the outside exhibition. The outside exhibition is free of charge and open 24 hours a day, seven days a week. We set up archaeological windows to see the older layers of the border area and how they related to the city. This was all part of the city, housing and infrastructure that were destroyed. So you can see the layers now. To help make history tactile and comprehensible, all kinds of events are held here at regular intervals. For in addition to being an authentic location of documentation and testimony, this is also a location of political education. We have all kinds of groups and needs here. Young people who never experienced the wall, old Berliners and international tourists who come here with a preconceived notion of the wall and are then confronted by the reality. The main statement of this memorial is, freedom and democracy are not a given. This is our core message, which directly confronts dictatorial systems. The memorial is going to be extended to a total length of 1.4 kilometers, or three quarters of a mile. That's more than 11 acres in size. The outside exhibit offers information on the construction of the wall, the structure of the border complex and death strip, and on life within the divided city. This should be a place particularly for young people to see the benefits of actively working for freedom. Courage can move things. Even a wall, like the heavily guarded Berlin Wall, couldn't hold out against courage and the desire for freedom. In the end, walls are powerless. The Berlin Wall Memorial on Bernauer Straße, with its preserved remains of the former border strip, is a memorial in honor of the victims. Here, history can be experienced. Here, the danger of dictatorships and the power of courage and hope can be seen by the world. <laughs>